Hello, welcome back to another Sushi Life. Now, in this episode, I'm gonna show you there's a way you can use geometry nodes to randomize um, material color. So based on the index. So yeah, this is actually quite new with the Blender 2.93 from yesterday. Um, we can try using grid because grid have a bunch of face, polygon face, and we're gonna try to randomize uh, the polygon color using different materials so I will create this material with different color so just quick one so three three material for now let's file save as so this is geometry nodes and material index So select object, go to geometry nodes, create new, and we're gonna try to use fill. For example, uh, we can try using attribute fill, and we're gonna use the material index, and you need to use integer, and I believe this should work. So now, if you can imagine, each of polygon face have the ability to randomize the material index. So you can use attribute randomize and use integer. Use just copy this paste here and give a random value between zero and two or three. Okay, three because we have one, one, two, three. So with this, the random value with I think will be between zero and three, I believe. Yeah, I think this is more correct. So if we have another color, you can. Oh, actually, yeah, this is between zero and three, so we are getting the value of three in this case. So this is this is correct. This is correct now and. Um, so you can have like a donut, you can have like a monkey head and you can randomize the color of each of polygon face using geometry nodes alone. You can you can do it uh, this way. Uh, okay, Blender have a really interesting really interesting way you can say you have this selected. If you tap A and then command L, you can link uh, the materials and you can also command L and then link the modifier which is will which will copy the geometry nodes of course um, you can also select 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 and the last one selected is the master that can link to everything else okay so that's cool uh, what else can we do here let's say if we have I believe you can have like a Let's say we have like a sphere. I want to link the material. Link the material. So now this have the same list of materials. And I want to scatter object. Okay. Instance. Uh, point instance. Okay, let's just use point instance. So I'm instancing the icosphere based on uh, the points that it's already have. We can also use point distribute. I think I will try to uh, randomize. Okay, yeah, it's basically randomizing the face, which is not really what I want. I want to randomize the just the instance color. Maybe there is a way. Oh, okay, it crashes on me. Huh. Because it's Blender, Blender Alpha. I think it doesn't like the nodes three connections. When I save it, it crashes, which is interesting. So what it, what I really want is just basically material, color or texture based on the based on the material of its parents. 
So maybe this is not really the way to do it. So in this case, I don't. Maybe I need to be careful with the index coloring thing. I believe when you scatter points, it doesn't. So the attribute is not automatically transferred into the instance objects. Maybe you need to promote it something. This might be so the density attributes could come from the vertex color actually yeah it's a that's an interesting one you can use vertex color weight and then it's gonna transfer into the density attributes. As for the material and color, I'm not quite sure at the moment. If I, we know that I can try using randomize, but it's gonna crash again. So I'm not gonna do that for now. If I'm not wrong, these guys can have material. Okay, this is the instance objects, and the instance objects can normally get the color from the parent object object index material index so I don't know so I'm not sure if this is working yet I'm trying to think. Maybe we, we're gonna get something from from here at some point. So if anyway, if we try to go back to the grid. Geometry nodes. If we attribute fill and attribute randomize, so this might press. Oh, okay, yeah, it crashes. <laughs> but anyway, that's a quick look at material index attribute um, that can, you, can, you can use in geometry nodes. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.